B.Tech in civil building. Pardon, Satish, uh, can you repeat it again? Yeah, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Myself, Satish. Okay. Uh, I have completed my B.Tech in civil background. Okay. Yeah. Um, after that, I uh, selected a uh, construction company. Mm -hmm. I have uh, worked in, uh, yeah, in that company mm -hmm. uh, for three years. Okay. Okay. You have worked um, in that company for three years. Three years, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I selected civil uh, in uh, B.Tech because of... Uh, I uh, I don't have the communication skills, mm -hmm. so I mm -hmm. selected a uh, civil background. Mm -hmm. Can uh, you understand that, what I... I am talking? Can you understand what I am talking? Yeah, ma'am, I understand. Then how can you say that you have no communication yeah. skills? You are able to understand English language, right? You are good at English already. The thing is, you are yeah. not speaking, right? Yes. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Don't discourage yeah. yourself, Chari. Okay, you are already good. You people yeah, are, okay. are good already. You are you are able to understand what I am talking. The problem with you all is you cannot speak. There will be a fear, yes. fear of making mistakes, mm. low confidence, okay, lack of practice. Let us overcome all of this in yes. our upcoming sessions. Okay. I'll mm. be there to yeah, help. Sure. Will you? Will you help yeah. yourself? Yeah, ma'am. Sure. Yeah, ma'am. Yes, Definitely. this is this question yes. is for everyone. Are you going to help even for yourself? I will be there to help you, yes, but you should help yourself. How you are going to help yourself? By speaking. Uh, yes, really. you should have a, uh, you should always speak, communicate in English. Okay. First of all, yes. learning grammatical rules, learning, you know, attending for the online sessions are not good. You may know, you may know how to talk, but when you will overcome the fear of speaking, if you have plenty of practice in speaking, then only you can overcome that fear. You know you can understand English. If I speak in Japanese or Chinese language, can you understand what I am going to talk to you? No. No, no. there you no. can say I have communication problem. Here we have no communication problem. Only thing is fear. Okay? Yeah. okay. Are you are you guys agree with me? Yeah, yes. Yes, yes. 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 yes ma'am. Yes, very good. Okay. That was nice talking with you, Satish. You are very good at English mm. already. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Who else? Who wants to talk to me? Hi. I am Rajlakshmi. Hi. Hi. I'm Rajlakshmi. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, good Rajalakshmi. Morning, Rajalakshmi. Yeah. Hi, Rajalakshmi Das. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah. Good morning. Very yes. good morning. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Yes. Instead of how are you, you mm. can ask how have you been? Hi, how have you been? Even, how are you? Instead of how are you always, it will be boring, right? Always, how are you, how are you, how are you? How have you been? What's up? Even such kind of word phrases also you can use. Okay? Yes. Yeah, tell me, yeah, Rajalakshmi. I am Rajalakshmi Das. I am now, uh, I am from West Bengal. Okay. I have done my master's degree in economics. Okay. Uh, okay, great. Yeah, that's from Okay. So what are you now? What are you now? Raji Lakshmi, what are you? Are you home? I am, uh, yeah, I'm a uh, housewife. Yeah, don't say that. Housewife, homemaker. Yeah. Yes, uh, homemaker. Okay, good, good, good. So you have intention to learn English and speak English, right? You want to speak better English. Yeah. For, for that reason, you have joined, yes. right? Yes. Same with yes, Satish. Yes. I'm going to help you a lot. I want even your support also. Okay? Yeah. Uh, okay. You should have plenty of, you should speak. Okay? Whatever you are going to speak with me or whatever it may be a doubt or it may be anything, express with me. Okay? Though it is wrong, no problem. What is What can learners do at the very beginning? Making mistakes. mistakes. Right? It is their yeah. right. It yeah. is their right to make mistakes. You should not fear of them. Okay? Come on, whatever you want to speak, speak. Then only I can correct you, right? Without speaking, I'm not going to do anything, right? Yes. 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 Right. Yeah, that was nice talking with you, Raja Lakshmi. Yes. Still? Darshan Patil, Venkat Sai, and uh, whom I can see still? Sachin. Hi, this is Babu. Yeah, who is this? Babu. Hi, Babu. Sarat Babu. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hi, sir. Sharad Babu. Hearty welcome to spoken English training. Yeah. Yes. 
can you introduce yourself to me yeah uh, this is babu yeah don't say this is babu uh, my name is babu formal english yeah. you are yeah, not anything yeah, you are not anything or uh, something else you are a human being right i am yeah. yes hmm. yes come on come on babu yeah uh, i am babu yeah so uh so i have totally four years of experience in uh, it okay are you a software engineer yeah yes okay which company are you working ibm okay mm hmm mm may i know the abbreviation of ibm what does it mean by um, abbreviation in the sense of full name of ibm ibm indian at indian business management type okay international business yeah, management international business management very good okay yes, thank yes. you okay stay so uh, my concern means uh, hmm. i need to speak with the clients okay. most of the clients uh, okay uh, is uh, us guys mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, so i am not getting the exact pronoun exact sentence uh, mm. to when you are talking with uh, us guys okay can you understand so, what they are talking to you sometimes understanding also it's a difficult difficult thing because slang of the accent is, yes. yes accent slang accent is different compared to with indian, indian accent language. yeah indian language mm. so okay technically it's okay no problem mm. uh, we can uh, resolve we can uh, do, uh, talk to with technically no problem okay so any meetings or some discussion is going on at mm. that time uh i have to face the not properly i understand the language some people okay. speak, but <laughs> some people so okay i could understand the language okay okay babu i am going to help you see problem with the native speakers do you know what is the meaning of native speaker native speaker means local mm -hmm. mother local, tongue mother tongue like right? yes. yeah If you take Americans, English is their mother tongue, right? Yes. If I want to talk to you in Tamil or you know in our native languages, especially South and North native languages, if I ask you to speak about something, you will definitely speak because it is your native language, and there you can find more confidence, right? Yes. And if you take even in Telangana and AP, though we are communicating in Telugu language, each one's accent is different. if you take telangana their accent is different if you take seema their accent is different likewise english accent is also different they will speak very fast because they are native speakers come in, come yes. to india in in a, english language is not our native language first of all you should know that it is our it is not our native language we should learn it we are learning it already most of us mastered it right yes. the only problem with english is for indians they will be having lack of practice okay and don't yeah. uh, fear of the by seeing their speed you know speed first it will be very difficult to understand initial days i can say that initially it will be very difficult to understand follow their accent and you know you know gradually you can understand even their accent also even their speed you can catch up okay i can't say some some people they can take at least 2 3 months some they can take 6 months and some even after one year they can speak like them why they can speak like them why they can understand them practicing right they are listening every day they are listening they are having communication with them so gradually they can they are going to improve even themselves this will happen with even spoken english also okay don't have a fear by you know by seeing their speed accent okay slowly you can reduce that fear okay slowly with practice by listening them with full of concentration okay by uh, knowing the new vocabulary you know general vocabulary we know but the new vocabulary you should learn day by day uh, by reading or by listening by speaking you can achieve that okay it's okay. not one day or yes, two day process or it's not one month process it's a lifetime process because learning is no ending there will be no ending for learning there is no ending right 
it is a continuous okay. it is a continuous process i i cannot say that i am expert in english because i am learning it day by day i am learning new things right every day every one will say that okay. yeah yeah i am going to help you and i am expecting same from you okay practice okay okay still who is interested to talk to me hi ma'am hello ma'am ma'am hi hi babita <laughs> yes ma'am babita vajpai hi babita <laughs> where are you from i am from gurgaon ma'am mm -hmm. how are you yeah i am doing good how about you i am good okay come on tell me uh, uh i am babita yeah. i completed uh, my b electronics okay bachelor of electronics okay yeah in 2010 mm -hmm. after that 3 uh, years i did job after mm -hmm. that i quit mm -hmm. then now i am in home only because i am doing i did only all that uh, training mm -hmm. like aws and devops all the things okay mm -hmm. that's it <laughs> so you would like to improve your communication right yes ma'am yes are you homemaker <laughs> yes ma'am okay. now i okay babita i will help you surely okay yeah Thank attend the, attend the continuation of these five three demos okay don't miss even a single day okay i'm okay. telling you all please don't miss okay okay ma'am okay okay someone uh, someone wants hi, to before hi who is this abhishek anand hi abhishek hi ma'am hi i am hi ma'am how are you ma'am i am doing good how about you i am fine ma'am thank you yeah tell me about yourself abhishek uh hi everyone my name is abhishek anand i am really basically good. from bihar the initiation Bihar. from abhishek he is wishing not only me even everyone right yes ma'am yes ma'am <laughs> yes yeah. i am basically from bihar but currently I staying in noida uh, mm -hmm. i did my graduation in btech computer science and engineering from mm -hmm. akt university lucknow mm -hmm. uh uh so oh, that's it ma'am okay are you in job trials now no ma'am i i actually did job okay are you doing right now yes ma'am what are you doing yes ma'am okay. i doing okay very good very good so why you have joined here why you have come to this session because ma'am uh, i have lots of problem in communication i face okay. okay so in in our company uh, my hr is uh, say to hmm. uh, Suggesting communication you, suggesting yes. you your yes, hr is suggesting you okay to learn communication in english so yes. i join yes yes basically with the north indians the accent will be different the pronunciation of english language for them is different you know i can say that uh, communication he said he said right communication not it's not yes, communication it's communication okay that kind of okay. uh, small mistake you should uh, overcome okay how you are going to yes. overcome by speaking by listening do you know guys lsr w skills do you know lsr w skills what is yes, it mean guys anyone okay. anyone from the class do you know l means what listen speak yes. yes speak right read right yes what is the first initial thing to learn not only english language that may be anything what you should do what you should do first listen. you should listen later what you have to do after listening you should have speaking practice right then then after what is the third step you should do reading reading Read. and what would be the final one right. writing right what writing uh, what is the uh, great thing of writing what can spelling. it allows what can it allows we can learn spelling from it allows to speak it it allows to think for example if i ask you to write about someone for example if i ask you to write about chandrayaan 3 immediately you will take a pen and paper right and you yeah. will sit to write and what is the next thing your mind does thinking yeah, thinking thinking right so while writing something don't frame your sentences in your native language and don't translate them into english 
that is a main wrong thing you are doing all of you most of people doing that you should not think in your native language in which language you should think in english language understand though you are going to write the mistakes you know that you are going to write the mistakes and you know you are going to frame the sentences in a wrong way but yet you should not think even in your mother tongue in which language you should think in english language only you should think then it will improve communication will get improved if you if you are trying to think in native language and again translating translating it to english language that is a different thing that will take time okay you know already english language you can understand what i am talking you can understand the web series you can understand english language movies so many things every one can understand english language right so why can't you think in thinking you are not going to talk with anyone directly right you are thinking and you are talking to yourself even talking to yourself also should be in english understand my point guys yeah yes that you yes ma'am writing allows you to think more okay for example after the session uh, don't just close the laptop or phone and uh, run away from that place just go through the slides again what ma'am taught till now just go through the slides and what you have learned just talk to yourself and just write something about that class see the change within 30 days or within 40 days you will definitely speak i can't say that you are going to speak fluent english but at least just basic english with more confidence are you ready for that yes 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 ma'am yes yes okay guys uh let us go with the uh information that i would like to show you what you can see on the screen scan for course content can you see that scan how can you register or how, uh, if you want to see the course content also you can uh, register please okay and you can call to them for the displayed numbers okay regarding the content regarding the uh, sessions and their updates recordings everything you can contact to them and they are going to help you okay to whom you are going to contact logic labs technologies okay this is a general information okay first five sessions main up uh, means up to so this is wednesday thursday friday and monday tuesday will be free classes okay you can you can hear but what happens from tuesday that will be paid classes okay and for any of your queries you can email who are supported the net logic labs team dot com okay <clears throat> can you understand yes yes ma'am okay for any of your queries okay okay so in this workshop we will consider why speaking english can be difficult what you can do to become more fluent okay and we have plenty of speaking yeah hi who is this i am rajesh singh ma'am yeah rajesh me yeah come on I'm. I'm already paid this. Uh, for yeah, this. yeah, yeah. No problem. Those who did not pay, I'm uh, telling them details. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. In this workshop, what we are going to do, guys? We are going to know about why English speaking can be difficult. What you can do to become more fluent. Okay, and what we are going to do along with learning, we are going to have plenty of speaking. So, what I told you initially. to become fluent in english if you want to speak in english what you should do you should not read you should not listen you should not write first what you should do you should listen and later you should speak i am not going to read or write anything what i am telling you just listen and speak okay you are you will listen my class first 45 minutes are like that and what would be next to 15 minutes we are going to do we will we will be having a discussion on that particular content Okay. okay don't sit quiet speak speak whenever you get the doubt if you don't understand anything something or anything you better ask me okay i am going to explain you again okay okay uh before uh rushing into our content let us learn the importance of english language in today's world okay so wherever you go what follows you english yes wherever you go in this beautiful world english going to follow you how many of you agree yeah, yes 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 everyone everywhere everywhere english english, english. that is universal language 
okay you should know it definitely because in future also without english you are not going to achieve anything that might mm -hmm. be your another uh, you know uh, further studies or uh, your uh, promotions or something you 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 your life will get updated right day by day day by day so what you should do you should upgrade even yourself in speaking right if you mm -hmm. are going to lead a team you are going to become a manager you are going to be a faculty right you are going to be employee an employee so what you should what should what you should do you should improve okay in every aspect of english language okay okay yes <clears throat> so what do you can understand by this uh, image meetings presentations telephoning socializing and small talk writing reports intellectual lectures your special needs negotiations customer care business correspondence emails banking everything mm -hmm. in english you are not going to uh, fill the form in your native language in which language you are going to fill it in english. english language it is must you, you have no other way to escape from that right very often you can see your native language right very often okay hmm language is our primary source of communication it's the method through which we share our ideas thoughts with others so communication is meant by that right you know non verbal language what is that non verbal language expression i think signs okay. Okay. So showing signs without speaking verbal hmm. language means you are using some words and communicating right okay yeah. in olden days when we have no language how they used to communicate with each other like animals right animals. how they will communicate do they know talking no. no right likewise so language is a primary source of communication if you want to communicate effectively with your manager or with your colleague what you should know primary language communication you should know better communication then only you can express yourself otherwise you can't maybe you are so talented maybe you won the first rank in your uh, education background but yet if you have less communication skills you can't express yourself freely right if you can express only the other person can understand right it's yeah. a method through which we share our ideas thoughts with others okay there are thousands of languages in this world countries have their own national languages in addition to a variety of local languages spoken and understood by their people in different regions so there are many many languages around the world right if you take india in india only you can find more than 300 plus languages okay some languages are spoken by millions of people like english right others only by few thousands okay now what would be the universal language for you now english yes english is the most commonly used language among foreign language speakers throughout the world when people with different languages if two people with different languages if they come together what would be their main commonly how they are going to communicate english language in english language <laughs> sorry for that okay now english content connect us all over to the world who is going to connect english language english. can connect you can travel around uh, around the world if you know english language right right english is also essential to the field of education in many countries children are taught and encouraged to learn english as a second language even in countries where it is not an official language see english is not though it is not official language even parents are uh, encouraging their kids to learn english right why because coming generations would be going to be more competitive so in that kind of competition competitive world people should know better communication right so in which language they are communicating millions of people in english, english. there is no other way for us we should learn if we can speak better we can make even our kids to speak better more than better right study yes, almost all their subjects in english language in order to make the material more accessible to international students okay so even if you find a uh, majority of the books uh, will be printed in english language only right 
No. Yes. Even Bhagavad Gita nowadays available in English language. Why? Why? It is universal language. If it is in Sanskrit, it can reach to only few people. If it yes. is in Telugu language, it can it can reach to only few people. If it is in English language, it can reach millions of the people. Right? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so come on, take the internet. The on the internet, the majority of websites are written and created in English language. Even sites in other language often give you the option to translate the site, but it's the primary language of the press, even newspapers, books written in English language. Yes, this is not at all new for you. You know everything right about English language. Mm. Okay, you know now what is the importance of English language. So now let us discuss, let us interact. What can make you speaking difficult in English language? If I allow you to read, you will definitely read, right? If you allow you to write, you can write. But problem with speaking only. Why? Confidence. Yes. Still? Still? Grammar. Hmm? Come on. Lack of water. Grammar. We are not forming the sentence. Yes. Present yes. of time. Yes. Strucking while framing the sentences. Searching for the words in the mind. Yes. Which word comes yeah, from? Yeah. Whether I should use word or word. Whether I should use am or is. Such kinds of doubts you will struck. Right? You will get and you will struck there. Because you know that very well you are going to do a mistake. Immediately you will stop talking. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And still, still stage fear. Right? Yes. Stage fear. If you see more than one people, for example, you have to address yourself in your seminar. Are you going to do it with confidence? No. No. If I ask, if I if I allow you to talk in your native language, at least you will try. But if I say you to communicate in English language, it will be very difficult for you. Yeah. Right? If you know, though you know English better communication, if you have also the problem is with you is lack of confidence. Okay? And still, Fear yes, of making mistakes. Fear of making mistakes. Yes. Insufficient practice of speaking. Right? These are all you have. Every one of you having the same problem. Right? Yes. Apart from that, is there any other problem with you in speaking English? Less words talk. Pardon? Can you repeat it again? Less of words talk. Yeah, yeah, searching, framing the words, okay, framing the sentences by using the meaningful words, yeah, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, let us overcome in our initial classes, okay, you should speak with me, right, from tomorrow onwards, you should speak with me. How you are going to overcome this fear? What do you can understand by saying this pick? What do you can understand? Before speaking, we have to listen what yes. they are. Yes, yes. For example, you may having a chit chat with your uh, colleague in the office. First of all, what is your uh, primary thing when you are communicating with your colleague or with any other persons? Listen. Listen. Okay. Fifty percent listening. Later, a conversation is only fifty percent you, and other will be fifty percent. You should not dominate them. Okay. Yeah by asking doubts in between, by interrupting them. So even they will get confusion. They can't even express, they, they can't even communicate what they are going to talk to you. Okay, what are you doing initially? You are disturbing him by asking doubts or something, right? First of all, you should not do that. First, what you should do? Listening. Listen. There is a popular say, a good listener can become a? Good speaker. Good speaker. What? Mm -hmm. This is what I would like to tell you. A good listener can become a good speaker. Yeah. Without listening, without listening, you are not going to improve. Yeah. Okay. First of all, you should listen. You should give chance that person to speak with you. Okay. Then only you can ask your doubt. He might be anything. He might be anything. She might be anything. She, whoever, whoever they are. First listen. Later argue or ask questions or anything that might be argument that might be friendly conversation give a scope for the other person to speak freely then you can ask your doubt this is the primary difficulty 
how you are going to overcome your difficulty primary thing what is that speak listening, listening. Hmm. very good okay now what you can see on the screen if you don't understand what someone is saying it is difficult to reply hmm. and uh, babu told me that i have a problem with especially when i have calls with onboard calls that will be very difficult for me to understand their accent and you know he can't reach the speed of them yes why they speak in such a way as i said you native yeah they are native speakers are we native speakers of english language no no, no. first of all problem with oh, our no. indians first of all problem with our indians they try to follow native speakers you know uh, posh talking is that necessity yeah. is that necessity copying others is necessity you should always no. be in your unique unique way you should communicate yourself freely though it is a simple language also no issues okay don't try to use you know a difficult vocabulary i should learn difficult vocabulary i should speak advanced english that is not going to work first of all you should be comfortable with your communication first you should know what you are talking whether you are talking right or wrong you should have a confidence first later you can copy others right yes. okay this is what yeah. i would like to say don't try to copy fancy speakers remember that they are the native speakers you are not native speaker you are in the stage of learning okay yes. you are allowed to make mistakes but not copy others okay be in your own unique way be in your unique way you, your own way okay initially you you may speak basic english but gradually you can go with even advanced english also how you can achieve that level how can you achieve that level by practicing yeah by listening the native speaker slowly 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 day by day day by day you will improve yourself okay, okay. yeah yeah <clears throat> speed of other speaker don't uh, get a fear of seeing that speed of the other speaker initially it will be difficult but uh, slowly gradually you can improve yourself even accent also their accent is completely different don't try to copy even their accent also okay so come yeah. out of these all fears okay just to convey what your thought is in your own language at your own confidence level okay then you can express freely okay you will be very comfortable okay try this babu okay now yeah. so what can you do practice listening every day 10 to 15 minutes learn phrases for when you don't understand so what does it mean by x q q q q q me means excuse me excuse, excuse me. me okay for example if you are watching a web series on netflix are you having a habit of reading even subtitles too Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, How many of you will know them? For example, one word you have seen that is a new vocabulary. I mean, it's unknown word for you. Are you going to search for the meaning? Yes, no. sometimes. Sometimes we do, but uh, to know. Yes, uh, sometimes. Okay, very often, very often we will search for the meanings. Okay, okay, this is what flawless means. Having more, being more beautiful. You will know. Are you going to use that? No, we don't. Interpretation is important. Okay, you have seen a new word, you have searched for the meaning, and you read the meaning and left there. What is the use of learning new things? What you should do immediately? We have to use. You should word. apply apply that word. So whenever you find such kind of situation, interpretation is important. Okay, you should use that word. Then it will never go out of your mind. Okay. Yes. Yes. searching uh, you know whenever you come across for, uh, from uh, new words immediately you search for the meaning okay and search it and apply use it in your day to day life okay okay <clears throat> what do you can see on the screen now useful phrases i do not quite follow excuse me i'm sorry i didn't understand that could you repeat that please could you say that again please could you slow down a bit please do you mean if i understand correctly could you rephrase that please are they giving any other meaning or the same meaning all the phrases same meaning are they give, are they giving any different meaning same what is that same meaning that you have understand 
what is that same meaning that you can understand by reading these examples? Not able to understand. Yes. Maybe you are having a conversation with your manager. Maybe imagine that you are having com con communication uh, conversation with your manager. You got doubt. Okay. After listening him, you are going to ask your query. So, first, how you are going to use, I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. This is the regular phrase, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. Can you repeat that, sir, please? Could you repeat that? You should not use can. Can you can use in informal way with your friends or with your family relatives. But could, would, when you should use, when you are in English environment, when you are in formal conditions. Yeah. Okay. Could you please, would you please repeat that again? Means that you are showing that you are giving so much respect to your superior. Okay. These are, these are all the sentences are giving the same meaning, but yet way of explanation is different. Way of expression is different, right? If I understand correctly, very often we use that, right? Could you rephrase that, please? Something he spoke to you, you didn't understand that phrase. So what you are going to ask, could you rephrase that, please? So that he can understand that he will definitely repeat that sentence. Okay, so English has the flexibility of the words usage. Okay, accordingly you can use. Excuse me also correct. Could you repeat that is also correct. Could you say that again please also correct. But the way of expression is different. Different. Yeah, it is having that flexibility. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> now what is the second one? What is the second one? Okay. Okay. Vocabulary. Oh. Vocabulary means? Vocabulary means? Meaning of the words. Yes. Okay. For example, I will ask you one question. <clears throat> what is the meaning of astonished? Astonished. Don't. Assassinated. Mm. I don't know. You don't know. That is a very new vocabulary for you. Okay. Such times, at the times, what you should do? Astonished means shocked. I can say that shocked. By saying something, he is astonished. Okay. okay. Like a rock. Okay. He was surprised. Okay. Astonished. Shocks. Right? That is astonished. For example, assassinated. Okay. If any politician killed by criminals or some other people, okay, that is called assassination. You should not say that murdered. For normal people, you can say murdered. For the politicians and important people, what word you should do? You should, you should use assassination. Okay, such words, you should know the meaning. Okay, by reading newspaper, you will come to know so many words meaning because based on the situation, they will Use the words, they will phrase the words so that it will improve your communication a lot. Okay, read newspapers also, it will improve. Okay, so you you don't know the vocabulary. Okay, you don't understand that. Okay, you are uh, you would like to speak something. Okay, some suddenly somewhere you have got struck. So how you are going to overcome? How you are going to fill that place? What I mean is, Alternate yeah, what I mean is, what I mean is, take some time, take a pass, but don't stop. I am telling you, take a pass, don't stop. What I mean is, uh, that thing is, yeah, yeah, that star, that sort of uh, does something, yeah, may I know, yeah, when, when you do kind of, I mean, okay, such words are helpful for us, okay, to take a pass instead of taking stop, you can better take a pass and continue your con conversation. Okay, don't stop. Such words are <clears throat> useful. They can be act as fillers. You know what is the meaning of filler? Filling. Filling. The yeah. gaps they will fill. Okay. <clears throat> now what you can do step two, learn new vocabulary and revise regularly. I'm not only telling learn new vocabulary, what I'm telling you, interpret. Okay, use a filler gives you time to think. If you are using filler, what can you get? Time to think. Right? Rephrase. Use words you do know. Okay? Don't uh, try to uh, frame the sentences with new vocabulary where you don't know even the meaning of that word. What you will use? The very uh, uh, words which you know meaning. Okay? Very familiar words you use. 
okay while framing sentences okay activate your existing vocabulary activate your existing vocabulary means existing vocabulary means alternate words for example you you have seen some siblings okay you will say that you look you look same like each other okay you are looking same instead of same that is existing vocabulary you know right and yeah. what word you can use resemble resemble each other resemble each other means it's advanced okay existing vocab it is not existing vocabulary you are not going to use existing vocabulary you are going to use updated vocabulary okay to enhance your speaking skills okay you should <coughs> activate that okay <coughs> okay i'm not telling you initially but gradually okay <coughs> what do you what do you have understand by this slide again activating vocabulary how you are going to activate your vocabulary these are the some uh, you know things that where you can improve yourself word games mind maps puzzles crosswords they allow you to think right think what yeah. yeah what will be the next word you will be having even help words also helping words also they will be giving you right how to yeah. fill yeah you will think and you will use that while writing you will think while doing that you will think thinking allows you to write okay speak and write so what are we going to learn in our upcoming classes about depths of the grammar you don't know depths of the grammar language language you know english language depths you don't know english language depths and you are not perfect in speaking okay you don't know how to frame even sentences but you should be fluent in english madam i would like to be the flu fluent speaker of english how it is going to be is it possible no no if you for example if you take telugu language you know everything about telugu right so that you can yeah. speak it confidently because you know the depths of that language you brought up in that kind of environment coming to english it is not our native language how we are going to overcome that by learning the rules of their language the english language what are the rules it has what is that grammar i should know what is the word adverb what is adjective i should know what is article means where i should use what is question tag what is a preposition if you know then you will know where to use when to use how to use yeah right are you agreeing Yeah. Yes. 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 <clears throat> so, do not worry about mistakes. We all make them. What I said before. What I said before. Don't fear of making mistakes. Mistakes. Yes. Learner allows to make mistakes. <laughs> Without making mistakes, we are not going to master it. Right. You by mistakes also we will learn so many things. Right. For example, uh, coming to ladies, if I ask you to make first time the best biryani, is it possible for us? No. No. How many attempts after we can make the best number of attempts? Right. No. We will know the correct measurements. Then only we can get the best output. Right. And coming to uh, people who is working, initially they will be having a fear, and slowly, slowly, slowly they will habituate for that environment. They can mingle them with them easily. so what what does it mean by here making mistakes and having fear you should have okay it is we are human beings but yet we should overcome our negatives we should overcome having fear is our negative quality right yeah you should overcome it how you are going to by making mistakes you are going to learn okay without talking without speaking you are not going to master english language okay you are a learner you are allowed to make mistakes you are lucky or not yes yes so reading is the key of learning okay reading not only listening even reading can also enhance your communication choose something you like for example who is your favorite actor actors actress <laughs> abhishek who is your favorite actor Or actress, Ganne Venkat Sai. Amir, Amir Khan. Junior Enter. Amir Khan. Okay, Amir Khan. Okay, talk something yes, about Amir Khan. Okay, search ah uh, ah uh, about Amir Khan. Ah, uh, Amir Khan. In online, you have many sources, right? 
read about Amir Khan and immediately what you are going to do, you will talk about Amir Khan in front of the mirror. You are going or with your friend or with your relative, with your family member. You talk about Amir Khan in English language. And later, what you are going to do? Write. Yes, you will write yes. about Amir Khan even by remembering those words. Whatever you know about Amir Khan, you are going to write them. Even this also can improve. Okay, not only about your favorite actor or actress, about your life, about your life updates, about your routine, daily routine, about the incidents, what that day happened, in the office, what happened. Okay, write something, something you write, then it will definitely, it will going to improve. Guys, are you going to do all of them? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. yes. So, what is this? Difficulty four, what is the difficulty four? Especially with North Indians, especially with North Indians that I can say, pronunciation. It is not pronunciation. What is it? It is pronunciation. Not pronoun. Pronun. Understand? Pronunciation. Yeah, pronunciation. First of all, pronunciation. How you will overcome same? Pronunciation. Listen, listen, listen. How the particular native speaker or how the expert in English language speaking that word listening and later you copy that okay how to pronounce it okay pronunciation yes so what you can do step four do your listening practice your pronunciation concentrated practices fluency reading aloud how you will get fluency Maybe. reading aloud <clears throat> so confidence this is the major thing all you will do finally coming to speaking what you will do Fear. Fear of making. Confidence. How you should be confident? You know very well that you are going to speak wrong. But yet you should be confident. Right? Don't think all are experts in English language. Okay. First of all, come out of such kind of mood. Okay. Assumption. It is assumption. All are not experts. Even they to know basic language only. Okay. Be confident. Whatever you would like to communicate, communicate it. No problem. Though it is wrong also. Let them think whatever they wanted to. And slowly they are going to see even your improvement too. Initial how you were and gradually how you were and how you have improved now. Okay? What do you have to do? Confidence. Confidence. Even though you are making mistakes, you should be confident. Okay? And step by speak, practice. Practice makes perfect. Okay. Set up a discussion with family. Skype with someone in English language. If you have friends in abroad or if you have any college friends, come on, have a chit chat with them in English language. Dude, let us talk in English language. Initiate, take initiation to have communication. Okay, in English language. Listen to them. And they can speak more worse than you. And yet you are the good. I, ca I cannot say that you are worse. I can say that you are good. But I cannot say you are expert. You are already good. Okay, <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. What does it mean by blah, blah, blah means choose a topic and speak about it for as long as you can. Okay, choose a topic. Okay, about anything, current topics, take any of the topic. Okay, choose about it and talk about it continuously. Okay, your partner will time, uh, your partner will time how long you speak. Okay, let them check the time, how much time you can speak about that person. Ask them. And since do not count, use your filler. Okay. Whenever you got stuck, what is your duty? Should fill it. You should yeah. not stop. You should pass. You should take a pass. Okay. So to become more fluent, you need to do plenty of listening. So what are the things so far we have learned in this primary class, in this initial demo class? Do plenty of listening. Use fillers to give you time to think. Activate your vocabulary. Read as much as you can. Practice your pronunciation and read aloud. Not worry about making mistakes. And that means confidence. That means confidence. Okay. So ultimately what you should do guys? Speak out. Speak out. Come out from that fear. Come out from that lack of confidence. Yeah. Yes. This is about today's class. Any doubt in this session? Any doubt? Mm -hmm. If you have any queries, please feel free to ask me. Still, we have eight minutes. 
so uh, if it is a coming sessions how mm -hmm. much time it will be discussed with uh, uh, like uh, hours any come i didn't get you can you can you express more so the, so you, you need to follow the whatever uh, ppt or whatever na, grammar mm -hmm. like that sentence okay so uh, in one hour session how oh. much time will you interact with me with uh, us yeah will uh, yeah simultaneously i'll be explaining you and interacting with you okay okay simultaneously it is a process i'll be teaching you and i'll be asking your doubts i'll be explaining about the content and i'll i'll make you a part in my teaching okay okay, okay. see even now also i was okay. asking you is that correct are you going to talk are you going to do i'm making a part right even in yeah. initial uh, upcoming classes also this will be same you are going to learn about english language along with having interaction with me okay yes ma'am yes okay i can say that not only one hour your practice should not limited for one hour it should it should be always it should be always you should be always learning okay yeah. learn 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 and from that fear okay yeah. how can i say uh, how can i say that that in uh, in one hour or in 30 sessions you are going to become the experts how can i say that guys yeah. are you are you really want that can no. you be that no, no. i cannot say no. i cannot say without your intention without your uh, support i am not going to do that okay yeah. you should you yeah. should take care of yourself there is no one helps you better than you yes Excuse me, ma'am. Who is this? I'm Raj Lakshmi. Yeah, Raj Lakshmi. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. This class uh, running a weekly. How many days? Yeah, I said you know it is one month. Duration for this training is one month. Weekends also the classes are having. I didn't get you, Raja. Can you repeat it? Saturday and uh, Sunday. Yeah, Saturday and are... Sunday will be no classes. No classes. Yes. Okay. yes and guys and after this class please go through the content how many of you gone through the content me yeah how many of how can we get the uh, dj yeah you can call to them. i have displayed some numbers right for the course content you can scan and you can call to them okay so they are going to help you <clears throat> about technical uh, queries you can call to them who logic lab technologies okay yeah yes yes <clears throat> the displayed numbers you can call you for any of your queries for the course content for the recordings for the slides everything they will provide you and you can join even this whatsapp group also can you see that yes yes <clears throat> uh, try to call uh, from 9 to 7 okay yeah yeah that is standard indian time okay <clears throat> yeah yes okay any doubts i i i had wonderful time with you do you yes yes ma'am yes, yes, ma yeah yes i uh, yes, ma i think this class is going to help you a lot yes yes, yes and even upcoming classes will be the same way okay you are going to learn so many <clears throat> things okay at least you can speak with confidence after the sessions at least okay yes, though you are in though you are in very basic level also you will definitely improve okay yeah yes, yes. still still we have four minutes time yeah in uh, tomorrow's class uh, we are going to learn about wait i'll show my screen wait for a moment
So what you can see on the screen? Yes. Sharath, Sharath, what is your doubt? Nothing. Why did you raise your hand? By mistake, maybe. Okay, yes. okay, okay. So what is this manners in your uh, view? Manners means? By respect. Respecting to others. What is manners means? Manner means the respect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The way of your our behavior. Yeah, yeah. Way of our behavior. Especially when you are in English environment, how you should behave with others, you are going to learn tomorrow. Okay? How to request them, how you are going to thank them, how to ask excuses, how you are going to wish them in English language, how you should maintain the smile, even how you should give shake hand. What is that covering your mouth? What is that standing in line? What is that holding that door? What is that maintaining distance? You are going to learn about all these things in tomorrow's class. Okay? I will explain how to behave when you are in formal condition, formal environment. So, formal your environment will be always... Huh? Yeah. Your voice is breaking. Yeah, yeah. I am dissolving it. Wait. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Sorry for that. <laughs> formal conditions means especially it will be in English, right? Such kind of env environment we can call it as a formal environment. So how you are going to behave, you are going to learn in our tomorrow's class. Okay. That was nice talking with you all. I hope you are going to join even tomorrow's session also. How many of you guys yes. join? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my my request only my request from my end is please be punctual for the time. Okay. Yes. yes. At yes. any cast by ten o'clock you should log in. Okay. I'm not I'm not going to wait more than four minutes. Okay. Oh. Because others will get problem. Okay. Because every minute is important for us. When we have only one hour, we should utilize even one second also. Right. Yes. 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 Be punctual for the class. That is only my request from my end and one more thing is after the session immediately go through the slides again and understand and revise what i taught in the class okay okay yeah okay. i'm going to signing off for today bye thank, thank you everyone thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes. thank you yes have a nice day everyone thank you yeah. thank you